All right, let's play with another quadrilateral. Hey, let's look at the slopes. We have 0 0.07, 0 0.07, 2.04, 2.04. So it's just a parallelogram, right? Hey, but we said we got to check out the sides. And look, the sides over here, the numbers for them. The sides are always are all the same. No matter what I do, the sides are all the same. We should probably call that a different shape besides parallelogram, right? And you all know that shape to be a rhombus. So, sides are the same. All sides are congruent. Again, all the properties of a parallelogram apply that the opposite angles are congruent. Remember that? Diagonals are going to bisect each other. But let's look at those diagonals. They um, do some interesting things. Let's watch them a little bit. They always look like they are perpendicular. So let's verify whether they are perpendicular or not. Boom. So let's measure that angle. D to E to A. It is a 90 degree angle, which means this side's a 90 degree angle, which means this side's a 90 degree angle, which means this side's a 90 degree angle. And we know they bisect each other because it's a parallelogram. We already showed it was a parallelogram. That's, you know, the slopes are the same. Remember that? Boom, boom, boom. Um, so these diagonals are bisecting each other, but they are also perpendicular bisectors. Kind of like a kite, right? But a kite, only one of them bisected the other one. So if you can make, bi if you can make perpendicular happen and then make them bisect each other, or make, you know, this side the same as that side, make that side the same as that side. You know, that's what bisector means, right? Cut into equal halves. Then you got a rhombus. Or if you make all four sides the same, then you got a rhombus. Um, so uh, let's look at the, this angle up here. Um, well, let's look like this. there's something happening up there. Let's measure that one. Let's go C to A to here. 60 degrees. And 60 degrees, 60 and 60. Okay. Um, is it always 60? I don't know. Try to move this thing. Well, that's interesting. I don't think it's actually always 60. I think it's just that the rhombus that I made is uh, always 60. I have to make. I'd have to make a. Yeah, you know, kind of a slightly different rhombus. Yeah, I don't. But the important thing, it is being bisected. And it's a right triangle. Hey, so I know that this angle is 30. And again, this one's, if that angle's being bisected, then this angle's being bisected. And these angles are equal. Remember, opposite angles are equal. That's one of the parallelogram properties. So this is, say, oh, so we got four right triangles here that are all the same size. So that gives us Pythagorean theorem. A squared plus B squared equals C squared. Yeah, all that stuff. So rhombus, all four sides are the same. And the diagonals are perpendicular bisectors. And the diagonals, as in both of them, and the diagonals, both of them are angle by oh I didn't are angle bisectors. I didn't prove that up here. I should probably do that. Uh, angle measure, boom. Well, we expected it to be thirty, right? Because you know we had a right triangle and triangles add up to one eighty, and we had a ninety and we had a sixty already. Yeah. Um. So 30, 60, 90 is actually just one type of right triangle. So they don't, it's not always 60 and 30. Let's just, even though this set is always coming up 30, 60, 90, it's not always true. Um, all right, so let's look at this again. Um, I made another little one over here. And as you can see, that angle is not always going to be 60. It's because of how I made this one. I made this one more general, more generic. Um, so it, it's still a, a bisector. I mean, that's a, that's still going to happen.
and it's always going to be perpendicular. We already showed that. All right. Okay. But I just want to show you here that that's 60 happening all the time there. This is a better show here. Something's, you know, it's always, you know, getting bisected, but it's not always that set of an angle. So properties of a rhombus.